Hi there, my name is Nick Kaplan, and I'm a product manager for Alloware. As you probably know, Alloware is an omni-channel, cloud-based telephony solution for both sales and support teams. In these series of demo videos, I'm going to be going over our latest and most exciting product yet, Talk 2.0, for you to better understand how to best navigate it. So, I hope you enjoy, and see you there. Hey there! Welcome to Alloware Talk 2.0, an agent interface that was built from the ground up thanks to your feedback, and it looks pretty darn good. The second iteration of Alloware is already out in the hands of customers, so you won't want to miss it. Talk 2.0 supercharges contact management teams with a heavy emphasis on being an intuitive and high-functioning dashboard for agents, regardless of their role, whether they're in support or they're in sales, and it acts as an incredibly flexible execution layer for precise day-to-day -day tasks. In this particular demo video, I'm going to be going over the communications tab and showing you what you can do with it, how you can easily see and manage missed calls and messages from the inbox and the task manager. So without further ado, I'll get right into it. Let's say that I'm an apartment building owner and I use Alloware's Talk 2.0 product to stay in communication with my current and prospective clients. I'm going to walk you through what it looks like to manage the communications with a few of my clients for both outbound and inbound communication. So I'll go ahead and text myself. And you can see we got a notification pop up from Nikki Cap. So it looks like it's regarding the room I recently listed online. Hey, can we talk in a minute about your most current room listing? So as you could see, Nikki Cap's contact has appeared in the open tab. This indicates that I have a task that needs to be addressed and I'll go ahead and reply to his text. Sounds good, I will give you a call shortly. Sending that text automatically puts Nikki Cap into the pending tab right there. The pending tab basically indicates that I'm currently waiting on the contact to respond to me. Real-time updates are key to real-time workflows. Another tab you could see is the close tab, which indicates that the communication between the contact and myself is over. As an agent, you could freely move contacts back and forth between tasks, statuses, while the system makes the obvious organizations for you automatically. So now that I got a reply from Nikki Cap, that I can give him a call shortly, we'll go ahead and do just that. Let's turn this perspective lead into a customer. Connect. While Nikki Cap waits a bit on the other line, let me go over the new dialer interface that comes with Alloware's Talk 2.0 product. As an agent, you have the ability to do many things with this dialer. Obviously, we can mute and unmute. We could put the contact into hold. We can open up the keypad. We could pause the recording and resume it. We could add notes. This is a note. We could add tags. So knowing that this is a prospective customer and a new lead, I'll go ahead and add that. You could drop the voicemail. You could obviously end the call. We can add other agents to the call. You could transfer this call to other agents. And my personal favorite is we could go ahead and park the call. So let's say Nikki Cap asks me a question. I don't have an answer for it at the moment. I'll go ahead and park it while I go investigate. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself another call from another phone number. So as you can see, I'm getting another call from Kitty Smith. I'll go ahead and answer. So let's say I speak with Kitty Smith and end the call, all while Nathan waits for me in his parked call. Intuitive inbound call management is vital for agents to stay productive and keep customers happy. I'll go ahead and unpark the call from Nikki Cap and end the conversation. If I look at the right hand side of Kit Smithy's contact information, you can see there's lots of stuff that I could do over here. I could give him a call, I could block them, put them on my DNC list, add an appointment, add a reminder. But now that I've spoken with Kit, 
I can go ahead and move this conversation back to closed. In this communications tab, agents can also filter the tasks and view specific channels of communications like calls, which can be filtered. Let's say we want to look at missed calls. Messages, mentions between agents, voicemails, and call recordings. Now that we've seen how you can easily organize your communication, stay tuned for the next video on how we can explore the management of your contacts.